The coldest night of the year raises funds for YWCA Niagara programs. Scheduled for February 20th, it's actually going virtual this year. Ariane Good is here to tell us more. Welcome, Ariane. Hi, thank you for having me. Without being able to have the, an actual gathering, an actual walk together on February 20th, what is the plan for this year and how is it coming together? For this year, there's lots of different options, actually. Um, it's coming together really, really well. But yes, because of COVID-19, um, we can't have that fun in-person event where everyone gets to walk together. So people get to walk wherever they want, actually, and any day in February, too. So there's a lot less barriers for people. Um, and we're seeing a lot of our walkers um, and some of the teams are walking every day or a couple of days just to spread awareness and get the conversation going around close out of the year and homelessness. Um, so it's it's really incredible um, that people are walking wherever they want, honestly. So they're now not tied to a specific date or a specific location. They're feeling a lot of freedom to do this whenever, wherever. Exactly. So it's it's kind of nice because they're all making it their own, which is which is fun. We're still going to have virtual ceremonies on February 20th, um, just so that we can all kind of get together, um, see each other virtually, launch together. Because um, I know almost of our, all the walkers are still going to walk that day as well. Um, and celebrate too, because our walkers are doing incredible job fundraising and spreading awareness. It's, it's amazing and really nice to see. How have you seen the donations so far coming in? Well, we're at 93% of our goal. Wow, Nine, did you say 92? 93, yeah. 93, yeah. that's amazing. It really is, I think, um, because people are really owning it this year and they have that freedom, they started rolling out um, their fundraising well before they normally would. Um, and because it is virtual, a lot of donations are coming in online. So we're seeing them sooner than we normally would. Um, so it's, it's looking really, really good. I'm definitely pretty sure we're going to hit our goal. That's yeah. for sure with 10 days to go. So it's, it's been really nice. How important is this fundraiser here for the YWCA Niagara? It's crucial. Honestly, when we were talking about this event, it's, it's so crucial to be able to raise the funds to keep the program going, the West Niagara Affordable Housing Program, um, and to keep families being supported. This past year, we, we served uh, 20 families, and that includes 29 kids. Um, and that doesn't happen without this. So this fundraiser is super important, but it's also really motivating too. I think the thing that people don't know necessarily or understand is just what it says to our clients in that program as well, right? Is that all these people will show up for them. They'll raise funds for them. They care about them. Um, and I know one of our clients, she's been checking almost every day. And it just brings her so much joy and motivation to keep going because all these people genuinely care about her and the kids. Have you seen a steep rise in the need for your programs during the last 11 months? We're definitely seeing um, an increase in needs and we're more concerned about what this is going to look like when things start actually moving forward. Um, because right now it's already difficult, but what is this going to look like in the next couple of years over how this has hit different families and people and even in terms of rent, like what is that going to look like? So um, spreading awareness now is, is incredibly crucial. How can we get one of those toques? Well, this year, um, adults have to raise $150 and then children have raised $75 and then they get one of these really fun toques. And we're going to be distributing them next week to our team captains who are going to give them to their walkers. Um, there's also the option of picking them up at the YWCA um, or Station One Coffee House in Grimsby. Ariane, I'm sure we will hear exactly when you hit that 100% mark all the way from our studios here in Niagara Falls from West Niagara. Good luck.